Good afternoon, traders. Chris Buss here with Traders Profit Compass with your Midday Market Pulse for Thursday, June 3rd. It is 1.10 as I'm starting the video. We are in the midst of a midday lull right here, I think. So I thought it'd be a good time to kind of just run through real quick and give you some levels for the afternoon trade. SPY two hour gap down, momentum overshoot into the gap, but that ultimately held. Remember, first time to the gap usually holds. So there was a good chance if you had been short up here or you know short in futures or whatever to cover your short. But if you weren't, that was an opportunity there to get long against the top of the gap once you saw that you know recovery of a level from below is bullish and then you had the the second candle here hold and then you got to run all the way up back up to 420 which i think now is your afternoon pivot right if uh if it can pop 420 then they take it green and it was all much ado about nothing but i think odds favor a short entry here at 420 you know as close as you can get the closer the better and then have your stop just above and then if they go down an afternoon trade to retest the low or any you know any significant pullback then you'll be um you know then you'll be good to go let's look at it quickly on the 30 minute chart here you can see that penetration on the first candle back up to 420 and now we've been um, i'll just say flagging consolidating below that could be bullish but i i uh i think there'll be a lot of sellers at 420 and until 420 goes i think you gotta have a bearish bias for afternoon trade and like i said if you can get an entry close to 420 and place your stop just above the worst that's going to happen is you're going to get a paper cut and then you can tell me i was wrong that they you know they popped it and and whatever but i think right here at 420 i would favor a short entry get out of your long if you got long take your profit there and then see if there's a pullback in afternoon trade uh cues very much the same kind of look gap down to this uh, uh, to this existing gap remember the gold EMA is the 50 on the daily so the 50 held and then they made a run back up to resistance at 332 so this afternoon if they were to run it up to 332 and you had gotten long in here take your profit and then recycle short at 332 and look for a move back down uh, here there's a little more resolution for you uh, oftentimes and we see it right here once that initial move is made back up the subsequent candles have trouble getting through that that breakdown candle level and right here that's right ab I, I have it at 331.10 on a five minute chart. So if you wanted to, you know, try to game a $1 move up to 332, you'd be welcome to do that. But it just may stay right here at 331 and then come back down towards 330. So in the afternoon trade, two options. Oh, well, there's actually more than two, but let's just go over them. Come up to 332. I would be leaning short there with a stop just above. They may come up and try to close that gap, but I'd be leaning short on the cues. Or if they come back down, 300, uh, 330 is a big pivot level. If they lose that again, I think they come back to 329, and that's the place where, you know, if the bears have any power, they will break through that on the second try if there's some intense afternoon selling. It, you know, it doesn't seem like it now, but it never does until it happens, right? So uh, 3.30 is a big level. And, you know, if we came back down here, if we lost 3.30, I think you got 
329 at a minimum in the bag. And then if 329 fails, come back down in here to uh, 327. But the trick here, go back to the cues on the two hour, is the 50 EMA. And that could be a tough nut to crack uh, for the bears, at least, you know, today. Uh, we'll have to see going forward. Let's jump ahead to IWM. Uh, gap down. Came down to this gap that we had before. Right down here at 224. That gap held. And we've got a bounce going right now. If, if price were to come up to this... Uh, 227.25. Again, I would be, I would be favoring a fade from that level. But in order to get more intense selling, price has to be below 225.50. Why? You've got a big volume over price bar here, and that was, you know, going back to the two-hour chart. This 225.50. There were all these reactions. And so price has recovered that level. That makes it even more important. Uh, you know, it'll be support again on the downside. So I wouldn't go gonzo, you know, gonzo massive short on IWM until this 225.50 level cracked. Uh, if you wanted to get in short, up here at 227 25 you know i think that's fine um but the bigger sell signal will be on a uh, violation coming back down 225 50. facebook came right down to this 324 level which held and now they're in bounce mode uh this 326 25 is now resistance why because this was all support in here, support here, and then it broke. So now all that support becomes resistance because all these people that are long in here may feel like they're trapped. And as soon as they can get back, you know, get back to even, there's going to be a lot of mo motivated sellers right there at 326.25. So that's a big level on Facebook. Uh, Apple doesn't look like the rest of the stocks, um, the rest of the fat man names, no bounce at all. I think you got to stay short. If you're trying to game this thing, stay short against 124.50 and then see if you can get a move back down to 122.50 to back test this prior low. But I think it's, it's interesting that even in the bounce of the cues and a lot of the fat, na fat man names, that uh, Apple cannot even uh, get a bounce out of that. Tesla came down to our 595 level. Just make it as simple as possible. 595 has to hold for the bulls to stay, you know, somewhat in control. They lose 595, then you're back in the prior range, and I think it would go pretty fast if you got that move. So. If you've been long in here and you may feel at this point that you might be trapped, take your medicine, take your loss if you lose 595. Of course, time frame is everything, but below 595, uh, if you hold on to your, if you keep holding longs, then, uh, It'll just make matters worse. So that's got to be your line in the sand if you're long. And if you're in nothing and you get that break of 595, take it short because <clears throat> I think you'll get a move down towards uh, 570 to test this gap and probably down to 560. Uh, fill that gap and then 560 was uh, good support. Microsoft. Gap down, next candle came down to touch this 243 level, and then you got a big bounce. So 
uh, and actually recovered this 245 level, which we said was important. If you're long and strong, you got to hold 245. If you're a bear, you can try a short here at 246.50 with a stop just above or for a more duration type trade, uh, get a confirmation that 245 has failed. Remember, that was the big breakout level on the daily. And if you come back through 245 again, I think you're going to come back down here to 243 at a minimum. And I wouldn't be surprised if you came into 241 on a, on a bigger down move. Amazon, just been oscillating away. You know, it gapped down to 3200. That's your pivot, pure and simple. You lose 3200, then you're down in testing this gap down here at 3180, possibly even filling it to 3160, and then down to these prior lows at 3150. Um, if you can recover 3200 and everything goes bonkers green, you can take it long. But as a bias, I would be waiting for 3,200 to fail, especially if you see selling in other parts of the market. Google came right down to our 2330 level that we had mapped out this morning. That was a place to try along. You had two chances to buy, two tests of that level that held both times. Now, just keeping with our thinking, you get a run up here to 23.55, all this stuff here is now resistance. Support, 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 fail. Now that's now that should be resistance there at 23.55. And if you were able to game this bounce back up to this level, I would be recycling, I would be taking your uh, profit and recycling to the short side in the afternoon. Uh, Netflix, another name, no bounce. Down here in the middle of this range, I think it favors coming down to 485. If you were to get a bounce up to 493 that failed, you can try uh, you know, a recycle short from there. Uh, you know, if you weren't in right here in the middle of the range, I don't think there's anything to do. Um, SMH semis uh, made a move down, did not quite get to this 244. It got close, then bounced up. But notice here, uh, bounced up to this prior level and backed off a little bit. So I think this 248.50 where this gap is, is your, is your pivot for the afternoon trade. I mean, if the Q starts selling off, fat man starts selling off, I would expect semis to sell off as well. So that can be a level that you can key off of in the afternoon. If you're interested in a short on semis, a uh, couple other charts to show you this big five sporting goods. We had a long idea. Uh, somebody pinged me in the in the trading room saying how well that has gone and it's up like I mean on a day where the market's down this big five is up six percent so that's that's like working great BTU uh, coal uh, we had that parabolic run and then just as fast a pullback and now we're back up trying to challenge these highs uh, I had taken some profits here, but then I got trapped in part of my position. So I've been hoping and praying and I've, you know, I've got that move so far. So now what it's got to do is take out the prior high here at about, uh, 860 for higher, but coal still has a bid under it. And you can look at that arch coal as well. ARCH. That is trying to make a move to break out here this afternoon as well. So let's wrap it up here. Uh, we had a decent down move. The, the bulls are not going to die easily. Uh, but I still favor 
trying to recycle short at overhead resistance and make the bulls prove that they got the power to take it green. And if they do, all you can do is tip your hat. Um, of course, you can have a different opinion of that than I do. That's fine. But at least now you know where the pivots are. So you can key off of those levels in afternoon trade and we'll see who is actually in control here, whether this bounce was just a dead cap bounce. Uh, and if the, if the bears are going to gather themselves and try to take it down further in the afternoon. Interesting to note, I talked this morning about energy and financials, about wanting to get positions there. They're leading in this down tape. Energies, energy and financials are leading. The last time I looked, oil was green. So I still like energy and financials. Um, establishing positions there when we've got an objective level to shoot at. So you can look at individual names as I am. Um, looking in those sectors, I still think there's strength there. So let's wrap it up here. I hope the levels helped you guys. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. There'll be more coming your way. I really appreciate it. Have a good afternoon of trade, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.